guys don't want to chuff for me today. Look how big he is. And we're gonna let him in in three, two. They're ready to eat, guys, so let's go get their food right now. All right, guys, so we are here at ZWF Miami right now, and today, we are going to be showing you guys how tigers are fed at zoos. I have shown you guys before how we feed the big cats, but this one is gonna be a little more in depth on the tigers here. And right over here, we have our tiger girls. Let me show you what they look like. Bindi, Chiquino, look how big these beautiful girls are. Oh yeah, oh hopefully we don't get peed on. When they back up like that, sometimes they'll pee on you, but I don't know if they're gonna do that today. So right here, we have Sarah, Tsukino, and Bindi. And on the camera is Megan. She is one of the prime caretakers for these cats. I'm gonna be helping her to feed today and show you just what it takes to feed all these big cats at the zoo. Now, we do have a massive male tiger over there that I'm gonna show you. The males get bigger than the females. Tigers are actually the second largest species of big cats in the world. The first being Zeus, our big lager boy, which is gonna be in the next video, feeding the world's largest cat. But today, we're just focused on these tigers. Tigers can get up to 650 pounds, the larger subspecies being the Amur and the Sumatran, and these guys love to eat. They're gonna eat a lot of food and primarily be hunting at night. Their nighttime vision is six times greater than ours, but if they get the opportunity during the day, they're an opportunistic feeder and they're going to try to hunt that prey during the day. Now at any given meal, they could eat up to 80 pounds in one sitting. So with that being said, guys, let's head over to the kitchen now and see what these tigers eat. Check out all of this fresh chicken. Now guys, we have a lot of chicken here and more thawing out, but like I said, we're just feeding the tiger girls. The tiger girls will get seven pieces each and then Boshkar, the large male, will get 10 pieces. Now, this chicken, it doesn't look pretty tasty right now to us, but it is human grade chicken. All the chicken we feed here is high quality, nothing but the best for these cats at ZWF. Now, before we can give them these big pieces of chicken, we need to season them up. We gotta make it tasty for these cats. Now this is a multivitamin right here. What we have to do is sprinkle it just a little bit on. Now I've been doing this for a while so I know exactly how much to give them. We also have some calcium right here in this cup. We've gotta sprinkle it on just like this. So with all that good stuff on there, we're gonna mix it up like this. You can actually come in here, Michael, and film mixing it all up. It looks like curry chicken goodness. Now those top pieces need to get mixed around because obviously that powder and calcium hasn't made its way to the bottom. Now guys, the reason that we put this Oasis powder, the multivitamin, and the calcium onto this chicken is just for nutritional assurance. These cats in the wild would be eating huge prey items, all their organ meat, all the intestines, none of it goes to waste. But here, obviously, they're just eating pieces of chicken like this. It does have the bones, so they do get that calcium, but putting a little extra powder does not hurt them. So we have to make sure that each cat has the nutrition they need, and then they're ready to go. Now we're gonna continue to mix all of this and that looks about good. Now the next step is to take as many pieces as we need for these cats. Like I said, I think before, the girls will eat about seven pieces each. We're gonna load this up. One, two. Two hours later. 20, 21. Now look at all of this chicken, guys. Those big girls will eat all of this chicken here and again, we still have the male tiger to feed. Let's get the male's chicken ready and head over to feed these tigers. We are going into the tiger cage. Now guys, look at all this chicken. This is for the three tiger girls and this here is for Boshkar, the big tiger boy. Now before we go in there, let me talk to you guys a little bit about these tiger's colors. These girls are waiting by their lockouts because they know it's feeding time. They can smell that chicken. But like I said, we're gonna talk a little bit about their colors. You can see that these tigers are all three different color variations and actually we're missing one. There's a standard Bengal tiger that looks like this. And then we have these three beautiful girls. Sarah right here is a golden tabby tiger and I actually think that she may be pregnant right now. We're not sure, we're, we'll have to see in the future. Tsukino right here who might 
pee on me when she backs up like that. Tsukino is a snow tiger. And then you have Bindi, the beautiful royal white tiger. Now, again, guys, these guys are ready to eat. But quickly, I want to talk about their stripes. Now, tiger stripes are all individual. Just like our human fingerprints, these guys are never the same. Every stripe is always unique. Now, if you were to shave their hair, you would actually see that the stripe continues on their skin. It's not just on their fur. Tigers have amazing vocalizations, including roaring, chuffing, moaning, hissing. Maybe we'll hear some of those right now. I don't know. My chuff is kind of good. I've been practicing it. All of us here have a different way of doing it. I don't know if that's more of a moan, but here we got. These guys don't want to chuff for me today. No tiger talk. You're not talking back to me today. They're ready to eat, guys, so let's go get their food right now. We have the girls' chicken here. They're moaning, they're groaning, they're ready to eat. We're gonna open this block out now. Guys, this is the most important part of feeding tigers at a zoo, making sure that we're safe and the tigers are safe. So there's a certain feeding process that every group of big cats has here. Megan has designed it perfectly so that they all eat smoothly. Everybody gets their right amount of chicken. So there is gonna be a pile right here of nine. Nine pieces of chicken. Now you might find that weird because I said each cat gets seven pieces, right? Well, you guys are gonna see why in a second. When two of these big tiger girls come in, they're each gonna grab their own piece and take it to their pile of six over there. That's just the way it works. It's a crazy system. They kind of jump over each other and do this whole circus act when they come in. It's truly amazing. But anyway, we're gonna put out nine pieces here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfectly spread out. We're gonna come into this next lockout over here. Put a pile of chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the same over here. We can just dump the rest of the bucket. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Everybody is good. Now guys, you see how close I am? Do not try this at home. These cats are very, very dangerous. And the way that we do this here at ZWF is set up safely so that nobody gets hurt. But it's time for these big cats to eat. So let's let them in. The food's all in there. We're gonna have to shut this lockout, pin it down. And then for extra safety, we're going to lock this just like this. We're all locked up so that can't open. We're gonna come over here and we are about to let these tigers in. Look at them. They are so excited. They're happy to eat. We're gonna let them in in three, two, one. How was that? They have practiced that routine with Megan five times a week. Now they have fast days in between, which is really good for their digestive system. Like I said before, they can eat upwards of 80 pounds in the wild in one sitting. So obviously this isn't an 80 pound meal for them. In the wild, they could go seven days without eating. Here, they don't have to worry about that, but look how much they're enjoying their meals. Tsukino here is crunching down on her chicken. And guys, I think that is a success. So with that being said, we're gonna head over to Boshkar. Now guys, we are at Boshkar's enclosure. Take a look at this massive boy. I have a little piece of chicken for him. Look how big he is. Now never turn your back to a big cat like this. I'm only doing it because I'm a trained professional. I do this all the time. He is just a beautiful golden tabby tiger. As you can see, much larger than Sarah over there, but he would be the dad to the potential cubs if Sarah is to be pregnant. We are gonna have to see about that. Megan and I are both super excited. Should be awesome if she is, but who knows? We've got this chicken here and Boshkar saying, stop rambling on, it's time to eat. We're gonna have to open this cage, set up his pile and let him in. As always, before entering, we have to make sure, hey, calm down there, buddy. We have to make sure that this pin is locked so he doesn't open it because obviously that'd be very dangerous for us and probably make for a good video for you guys, but not for myself. Um, Megan would have to end up posting that. Anyway, we're gonna open this here. We're gonna put his pile in. Now, there isn't really a specific way of doing it in here because he's by himself right now. Now, 
he does get shifted in with the girls sometimes, so he's not always solitary. But for right now, he's in his cage, he's ready to eat. So we're gonna pull this pin and we're gonna let him in in three, two. Come on, Boshkar, let's go, big boy. Truly amazing. Take a look how big he is. Almost double the size of those girls over there. Now, male tigers do get bigger than the females for all the subspecies of tigers, but taking this look at him, it's amazing being able to get this close. If you guys want to get this close to animals, then what are you waiting for? Come down to ZWF Miami, where you can experience animals like this about this far from the cage not many zoos you can do that at. Come to ZWF Miami and check it out. But with that being said, guys, the video is finished. The video is done. The cats are fed. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, throw a comment, subscribe to the channel, and watch some of the other videos. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.